Hi, this is Akanksha Kela Akashi and I'm shooting with Grazia today. So my journey with sustainability actually began with Refash. Uh, five years ago during Fashion Revolution Week in 2018, I ended up attending an upcycling workshop conducted by a designer and she had asked us to bring in a couple of pieces from our wardrobes which we hadn't worn for a while. Um, and she helped us tweak those garments into something new and uh, I, I walked out of that one hour workshop uh, with like three new pieces and I just said to myself, wow, this was so much fun and I, I can't believe we don't do this enough. We don't talk about this, we don't really, you know, this is not something that we do on a daily basis. So that was the day that the concept of Refash was born in my head um, as, a, as a movement of uh, promoting upcycling, to talk about upcycling, to talk about uh, stuff which is in our wardrobes and how we can tweak that to make it into something new that we'd actually, uh, you know, feel is cool enough to flaunt um, it around when we're walking outside, when we meet our friends, and family as well. So, um, and now I feel like that's really kind of trickled into different parts of my life. When I when I go um, grocery shop as well, for example, I try and buy from like a store which is zero waste in their philosophy. So I carry my own containers and fill in like the grains um, and the lentils, and then bring that back home just to ensure that there is uh, no plastic which is uh, you know wasted. Uh, so now it's kind of trickled into different parts of my life, but that's how it began. And I, I still feel like there is uh, there's nobody who can be 100% sustainable. So I feel like even though there are these small choices that I'm making in my daily life that might be, uh, you know, um, sort of the conscious uh, switches that I'm taking, but it's still a, a, a slow journey one step at a time. And I'm hoping to be, um, you know, more and more um, sustainable as I go along. So the piece that I'm wearing, Rebecca from uh, Baka Jewelry uh, has designed this piece especially for me and that's that's really, it's amazing. Uh, she, when we had a chat about um, the piece itself, she was in uh, Jaipur and she decided to just take a stroll around and find things that she, uh, you know, that were kind of left over or unused and she put this together in, in a sort of concept of upcycling traditions, upcycling culture um, and uh, uh, it's great because it's like these are pieces of text style that she found on different um, uh, different pieces uh, that she put together to make into like a statement piece of jewelry because that's what I like to wear and it's uh, uh, it's it speaks to my personality she's been able to fit it into something that I would wear for a really long time so it's it feels really nice.